His laptop's open to an email that was sent at the time of the murder. There seems to be an attachment. It looks coded. He's coming. I'm downloading the file right now. No, 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 forget the file. He's moving fast. He looks pissed. Her pressure just went through the roof. Got it. Hi. Hi. How did you, uh... The door was unlocked. Look, um... I'm, I'm so sorry about... Are you okay? Yeah. I just came to talk about our relationship. Good. Great. Uh, can I get you a water? At least she's not over talking. What? What? I thought you just you said something else. Did I? My thoughts are swirling in my head. Yeah, of course they are. Look, I'm sorry. I just I cut you off. You, you came to say something. Please say it. I deserve it. You can't do that again. You just, you can't cross that line. You could have. I know. I know, and believe me, it is killing me. And I would understand if you never want to see me again. But... This can't just be because of a hickey. Obviously, I do. I'm here, aren't I? You're scared. It's just my shoe. It's killing me. <laughs> Look, can we just maybe start again? Because I was having such a great time with you up in... So was I. So, um, it would have to be with, without... Without me asking any questions? Yeah, you know, kind of like that. Don't ask, don't tell. Like that ever works. Yeah, we can just talk about current events and the weather. Mm -hmm. How about tonight? I mean, I could come by yours if you're free and 7 p.m. maybe. Yeah, that sounds great. These are beautiful. You know, we uh, never really talk about your work. Well, we probably shouldn't start now. If whatever it was crossed over with what you were doing. I mean, that's what we said, right? No questions? Right, just stick to current events and the weather. We can always talk about what you want to do tonight. Are you hungry? Not really. Yeah, but let me ask you, uh, what case are you working on right now? A homicide. I don't think that we Ooh. should. Vincent, if you're sensing something, I just found out that my dad's not my dad. And my sister's known for three months, and it's just a lot for me to process. You know what? Let's just take a rain check. Vincent, wait. Chandler. Hey, it's me. Hi. I look, um, I didn't mean to run out like that before. I was just, uh, I was just, uh, so overwhelmed. I know, um... I had a memory. What? Yeah, uh, were you and I ever at a, like, a swimming pool? What are you talking about? Well, were we ever in a, um, you know, like a pool, like a hotel pool? Yeah, you just had this memory in my hallway? Yeah, I mean, I can't explain it, but I just had this memory of us buying bathing suits at some gift shop. Oh, my God, Vincent. I know, it's crazy, right? So uh, I was thinking we could go back there. You know, maybe it might trigger more memories. Yeah. Yes, of course. Okay, well, I'm, uh, I'm free in an hour. You want to go right now? Yeah, why not? And bring your bathing suit. We're going swimming. Guess that's what we did before, right? Yeah, um, I'll see you soon. Yeah, okay. Hello? 
JT, you said you gave Vincent a Cliff's Notes version of our relationship. Did that include a hotel pool? Yeah, why? Was I not supposed to tell him about that? No, he just pretended to remember it. What? Yeah. But why would he do that? Because he realized I was investigating him and he's trying to throw me off his trail by sending me to a hotel pool. Maybe he just wants to see you in a bathing suit. No, JT, something's happening tonight. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I had to change out of my bathing suit. What are you doing here? Me? I was gonna ask you the same question. I know. No questions, but... Catherine. Maybe over a dance? I can't. Yes, you can. You danced at my dad's wedding. But you'll probably pretend to remember that, too. Come on. This is gonna be fun. What are you looking for? And I'm not talking about art or women. Okay, this is a bad idea. Right, we're supposed to stick to current events and the weather. Well, it's warm in here, and currently, I think you're looking for Sebastian. Spin me. What? Spin me. piece of information wasn't on my computer. You asked about my work. This is my case. And this is the nicest interrogation room I've ever been in. So that's what this dance is. What are you gonna do, lose control in front of all these people? I wouldn't recommend it. Especially because this time I brought back up and they have tricks. So your plan is to trank me in the middle of all of these people? If you don't tell me what's going on, we'll just... Blame it on an allergic reaction. Red wine and shellfish don't mix. Damn. What's what is happening here tonight besides art being sold? Sebastian here for a good time? To uh, see his dad or to put his fist through someone's chest? Well, why would I tell you anything? Okay, I lied, but... No, you're using me to try and get information on your case. And get... Revenge. Revenge? Yeah, a lot of that going around tonight. Who's Sebastian? Is that why he's here? Revenge against whom? I'm talking about you. You think I'm doing all this because you hurt me? Okay. I wore a scarf all day to cover up what you did. Telling myself and anyone who would listen that, that this wasn't your fault. That if I could find whoever was controlling you, I could cut those strings and we could be together again. I lied because I care about you. You lied for a case. And the saddest part about this entire thing is that no one forced you to fake that memory. You did that all on your own. Thanks for the dance. She is spunky. She is spunky. I'll make her disappear, make her too. disappear too. Make for a better show. Just... Oh, That's called Friday at five. That was the time of the week I set aside. My son and I would go to the magic store, buy a new trick. So you were close. Okay, I'm done saving Vincent, but it seems that Sebastian isn't just here to say hi to his dad. So we need to focus on keeping these guests safe. Okay, my new BFF, Nigel Clifton, filled me in. Apparently, Sebastian was into magic. Dad sends him off to the military, thinks he's dead. Make for a pretty good magic show. He reappeared during the auction in front of all these people. Dad sent him? Yeah, he's totally guilt-ridden. Vincent said something about revenge. I thought he was referring to me. Maybe he was talking about Sebastian. So he's here to kill his dad in front of all these people? Revenge for what? Sending him to war. No, I'm talking about you, because that is not a hickey. Did Vincent? Tess. Okay, can we not do this now? So you've known about this too? That was the lie on the polygraph. Okay, I'm sorry. And now is not the time. Right now, we need to figure out how to get Clifton and these people out of here before Sebastian's big show. Excuse me, sir. You need to come with me. We have reason to believe there has been a threat on your life. Well, deal with it. I hire you people to keep the riffraff out. I'm about to get up in front of all these people. It's for charity. Yes. Uh, Mr. Clifton, hi. I think I spilled red wine on your Jackson Pollock. I don't have a Pollock. Oh, that, uh, splotchy painting in the elevator? 
What? Am I a backup or evacuating the guests? You need to hold off Sebastian. There's a gas leak. We've been asked to evacuate the building. We need everyone to take the stairs. You joined the party? I was. Until you and your girlfriend ruined the show. I don't see anything. Oh, did I say red wine? I meant white. It's not like a couch. You can't just throw soda water on it and make it go away. Lady, I didn't get where I am from being an idiot. What's going on? There is a threat on your life. I warned you I'd cross you off that list. Yeah, there's no reception. I'm sure this has nothing to do with the threat. What kind of a threat are we speaking about exactly? What was that? Hi, Sebastian. I thought I had daddy issues. <laughs> Did he tell you about the fire escape, too? I remembered it. Vincent, please don't do this right now. And I also remember grabbing you out of the way of an oncoming train. And another time we were in the woods, and you had braids, and it was so cold I could see your breath. Look, I know they're just flashes, but I do, Catherine, I remember you. And I'm not borrowing from JT this time, okay? You can ask him. Even if it is the truth. It is. And I'm sorry for pretending. But I couldn't trust you because I didn't remember you. But now... There are so many more lies in our relationship than just one pretend memory. There are so many things I can't ask you. What do you do? Who do you work for? Exactly. And it isn't just you who's lying. I I put antiperspirant on my forehead so that I could find out what's going on in your life. You were just trying to help me out, okay? And I didn't realize that back then, but I can see it now. Catherine, after everything that you have been through, I am not going to push you away anymore. Uh, maybe it's because my parents lied so much. I just... I've reached my lifetime capacity for it. This isn't going to be forever, okay? It's too late. Heather's right. You lie once and, and, and it changes everything. That relationship that you're remembering, we never lied to each other. I just can't, I can't handle it. I can't live with any more lies. It's too hard.